Hey everyone, it's Faith and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be bringing you through a little day in my life. It's already like two o'clock and so today I just did a deep clean on the house. I didn't record it because honestly I just love cleaning and I didn't want to worry about like setting up the camera or doing anything like that. If you'd like to see a little like TikTok cleaning video of maybe like a room, I can definitely do that. Kind of that like quick fast paced style but yeah I did that and then I also have to run to TJ Maxx or Hallmark or something and try to find a present for my cardiologist. I had two childhood cardiologists and a couple years ago um, the one I had since I was a baby retired and then this year my other cardiologist who I've had since I was six so over 20 years is retiring which is going to be a very very sad appointment but i want to get him something and i'm not really sure what to get him because what kind of present do you get someone who literally saved your life multiple times don't really know but um i'm sure i'll find something and yeah so that's a little recap of the day so far and then some of the stuff that we have coming up and so if you're new here make sure to subscribe and let's get right into the video. One thing that I wanted to show you guys was the project that my mom, my stepdad, and I are going to be working on over the next year or so. And that is turning the garage into my living space, which I am pretty excited about. Okay, so there still is a, quite a bit of stuff that needs to be cleaned out, but this is a little overview of the garage and it's kind of hard to visualize right now but th the wall will start pretty much right where this like black toolbox ends and so they will still have access to the upstairs of the garage for storage purposes but then my place will start here and so coming around here so this half of the garage will be the kitchen as well as the bathroom down in the corner and then over here will be the living room and then the bedroom. We still need to frame the walls up and then there will be a wall from that beam over to this beam. But the first project that we did was taking out the garage door and putting in just a regular front door and I forgot to record the process for the vlog but I did make a little TikTok of it and so I will insert that here. Welcome to part one of transforming this garage into my new apartment. I am so excited to take you guys along with the process. The first thing that we have to do is take out the garage door and put in a regular front door. There is the garage door all taken out. It looks so odd seeing it with no door. And then putting up some framing and there is the new door. And that is the view from the outside. Make sure to follow along to see all of the transformation. And so if you would like more up-to-date updates on the renovation process, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I will be doing probably more up-to-date updates over there. But I am excited to see the process unfold. But I think what I'll do next is just show you guys a little bit of what I have already. Nothing too big, but it's always fun to have shots. That's always my favorite part is decorating and putting the final touches on everything. The first thing that I have is this little china set that my mom gave to me. The little pattern is so cute and one of my favorite things to do is cook and so this will be so cute if I have people over then I can set out this little china set. Then as far as everything else goes a lot of it is still in the box and so this is one of those like olive oil dispensers as you can see or maybe not see um, and then I just have this bag from TJ Maxx and in it is a hair peeler and potato peeler that is a must have. A milk frother. This cute little bottle opener. It has like flowers all over it which is really cute. A 
this little soap dispenser for the bathroom. Throughout the apartment, I want to do like a pink and gold theme in the bathroom and the kitchen and my bedroom. And then in the living room, I'm thinking about either doing, carrying in that pink and gold theme or adding in some blue because I really like blues as well. And so you'll probably notice that throughout some of the stuff that I continue to get. Like this bag that is so cute. I found this at TJ Maxx. And then the last thing are just some salt and pepper shakers and they have the gold top as well. Shout out to TJ Maxx. I did not unfortunately find anything for my doctor, but they had so many cute fall things and Halloween things. The one thing that I did get were they had Nutribullets for $40, which I will definitely use in my new place. I just got a white one, but they had hot pink ones, which was very tempting, but I went with the white neutral one instead. I am going to head home now and I am listening to the Eras Tour setlist on Spotify to try to make sure that I pretty much know a lot of the songs because I'm going to be going to the Eras Tour movie in October. The Eras Tour has kind of turned me into a Swifty. I love all of your music. I have known a lot of the songs, like the older songs, because obviously you just grow up with them. But yeah, I'm starting to learn some of the newer stuff from like Folklore Evermore and Midnight's. And so yeah, I just want to be able to be familiar with the songs and have some fun at the movie. I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like. And so I'm gonna head home now and we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. I just got home and someone would like a stick. Would you like a stick? Okay, okay show, ready? Circle. Oh, good job. Okay, sit. Here you go. Good boy. He always runs off and eats it in the, on his bed. <laughs> It's about 4 o'clock now. And for dinner, I made yesterday some like at-home hibachi. And so I think I'm just going to have that for leftover. I've been wanting to get one of those black top grills. We just have like a regular grated one to try to make this even better. But I just did it on the cast iron pan at like on the stove. And it came out pretty good. It comes out better each time I try it, but I just do like a combination for the veggies and the chicken. I do a combination of soy sauce and sesame oil and then some garlic powder and regular pepper. And then for the rice, I do the same sauce mixture, but then I just mix in one or two eggs depending on obviously how much rice that I have. And then for veggies, I usually do carrot, zucchini, broccoli, and onion, and then sometimes I add mushroom as well. But one thing that I've been finding, and is this just where I live, or is this like an everywhere thing? But the vegetables and the fruits have been going bad. Like, like I feel like the fruit, for example, if you don't eat it like that same day, there's mold on it the next day. And then same with like some of the fresh veggies everything's just going bad so quick so I've been trying not to get like too much fresh stuff at once because if you do then it's just gonna go bad and you're not gonna be able to use all of it and then it's just a waste so yeah but anyways this is kind of what I made we ate most of the chicken yesterday and so it's mostly rice and veggies left over but yeah I'm gonna warm this up eat some dinner, watch some YouTube, then settle in for the rest of the day. I don't think I have too much going on for the rest of the day. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your favorite places to get home decor because see, it's all a process and as you can see, there's a long way to go with the renovation, but I'm so excited to decorate it and put it all together and subscribe if you haven't already be sure to follow me on instagram as well i always have it linked down below and that's where you will find more like real-time day-to-day updates i try to post on my stories every day if not like every couple of days so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye